Abali Zizi no logu. First night at the hospital. Dewo, our lesson for today is titled Abali Zizi no logu. First night at the hospital. And it's a dialogue between a patient and her doctor. But before we start, we're going to look at six key words that we will learn from this dialogue. And these words are Irahora, Irahora to sleep, Irahora, Chigariri, 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 moved around. So chigariri is usually used for things that are, um, you know, many and or are flexible. So if I move a box around, it wouldn't be used as chigariri. But if I move a pile of clothes or maybe, you know, a, a twisted coil of rope, that's chigariri. So for things that are flexible, you use chigariri. For things that are not flexible and like in, in solid form, box or, you know, not many, you use bugariri. Eririafo, eririafo, intestines. So eriri, when broken down, eriri is string, afo is abdomen or stomach. So eriri afo is the string of the stomach. So that's what how um, Igbo people describe intestines. So whenever you hear eriri afo, you know it's intestines. Um, ogumbu, ogumbu, pain medicine. Angoromo ogumbu, ubwa. I took some paid pain medicine now. Megari aho. Megari aho exercise. Megari aho exercise. So broken down aho is body. Megari is to move around. So megari aho is exercise. And then ndo Ndo is one of those words that don't mean one thing. So it depends on the context that is used. So if I do something to you and I want to apologize, I say Ndo. At the same time, if you fall down and I'm trying to commiserate with you, I say Ndo to you. If you're ill, or you fall into me if you're ill as people say ndo because it means get well soon or be well if someone hits a misfortune people say ndo to them and then like i mentioned before condolences when you want to offer your condolences to someone you also say ndo so ndo is one of those words and that's why sometimes when Igbo people are saying one something happens to someone else, um, Igbo people or even Nigerians say ndo or they say sorry. So they've done the um, a straight translation. And sometimes you're wondering why are they saying sorry? This is not their fault. You know, so but it's basically one of those words that mean different things, may um, to show concern, to show love. To show that you care when something bad has happened to someone. So, ndo, sorry, get well soon, or condolences. Ready? Let's begin, Kaibido. Nde wo. Kedu ki mereta. Nde wo. Kedu ki mereta. Nde wo dokita. Ara honge mora ofuma. Nde wo dokita. Ara honge mora ofuma. Ma 
Makagini. Makagini. Afombu ekwerim rahora. Afombu ekwerim rahora. maka afo awaragi o maka afo awaragi achegarere eriri afogi o maka afo awaragi achegarere eriri afogi Etu obu lam no na ebu mumbu Etu obu lam no na ebu mumbu Ndo Oga di ma ma oge naga Ndo Oga de ma mo oge naga. Onwere ogu mbu obula, inwere iki inye mo obua. Onwere ogu mbu obula, inwere iki inye mo obua. Game de potogu no suge nyegi. E agame de pota ogu no suge nyegi. Enwe remike irin rio bula nchoro. Enwe remike iri nrio bula nchoro. Nani ihi kwe siriri bo mri ne mwe giyose. Mba. Nani ihi kwe siriri bo mri ne mwe giyose. Dalo. Kamugwa mwane mwanyi ne kwenti. Dalo. Kamugwa mwane mwanyi ne kwenti. Emecha omwere onye gabia gwagi udimegare ahu ige eme. Emecha omwere onye gabia gwagi udimegare ahu ige eme. Dalo O Dalo Onwere ajuju ozo inwere ijum Onwere ajuju ozo inwere ijum Mba Mba Ngwano Jisi ke o ndo ngwano jisi ke o ndo o dalo o dalo and so the words we've learnt in this dialogue the f- six main words we've learnt in this dialogue are irahora Irahu ora to sleep. Chigarere. 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 Moved around. Usually moving something flexible around like cloth 
or beads or you know maybe a bunch of oranges or something that's flexible and multiple in number eriri afo eriri afo intestines ogumbu ogumbu pain medicine or painkillers megari aho megari aho exercise ndo like i said before ndo means multiple things depending on the usage so you can either say ndo to someone who you've um, done something to and you're apologizing or you say ndo to someone who's getting better who's ill or ha- are hurt themselves or have fallen into misfortune or you say ndo to someone who is bereaved when you're saying um when you're offering your con- condolences And so in conclusion always remember that practice makes perfect and that each effort you make brings you closer to your Igbo language and cultural learning goals. Come see you on the next lesson.